Hey guys, how's it growing? Jackson here with another video and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do because I usually just do a lot of updates um, but today I'm going to be doing a little care video on the rose apple back there. Um, I'm going to start doing more of these care videos and uh, get them out to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy them and uh, with that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is my rose apple tree. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe four foot tall in a five gallon pot. I got this from uh, Mimosa LA Nursery down in LA. Um, this guy came in a one gallon container, probably, I think it's a seedling. From what I've heard, a lot of propagation is through seed or uh, air layering, I think. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is a seed. It was probably about maybe a foot tall when I got it, maybe honestly probably less. But uh, you know, it's it's doing pretty good. Um, these guys are from the West Indies, uh, Malaya, and then they're naturalized in parts of India, as well as Southeast Asia and even the Pacific Islands. So that's pretty interesting. And I know they're pretty big in Jamaica as well. Um, so that is pretty cool. Uh, these guys are gonna get around that 25 to 40 foot range, or at least that's what I've read. Uh, probably not that 40 foot range around here. Um, but you know, it, expect it to get a decent size. From what I've seen ever at Marie Farms, uh, they get pretty bushy. And so honestly, I think this would be a nice like hedge to have. Um, be pretty discreet these guys get pretty full and thick and you're really not going to see anything through um, and they kind of like umbrella down and uh, it looks pretty neat at least uh, from what I've seen at Murray Farms um, and those trees were probably about uh, I don't know I'd say like seven or eight eight feet tall but then again they they droop down um, like an umbrella so uh, they they could probably be I don't know even taller if they were more upright but it seems like they kind of droop down anyway um they are going to be evergreen so you're going to have these nice green leaves all year round uh the new growth is a nice deep red color and then turns to that kind of orange and then yellow and then green so that's pretty sweet i really do love the new growth on these guys they're super nice um the fruit on these guys are are uh, pretty small and around like a golf ball size uh, might have one to three seeds in them and uh, the fruit tastes like an apple or not tastes like an apple has the texture of an apple but it's uh, it's got a flavor of a rose so that's pretty interesting um, these guys can tolerate around that 25 degree mark I heard a little bit lower depending on the size of the tree um, so that's pretty good these guys are are going to thrive around here in the central valley if you have one it seems because we're definitely not going to get that that cold around here at least at least i don't not not for a long time maybe for like a couple hours but um i don't think it's going to get that cold around here um they do like a nice loomy soil but they're pretty uh pretty outgoing they can kind of take any soil arrangement as from what I read, at least, it's from what I've read. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. Um, I think they do really well here down in our soil. So I'm not worried if I plant this out, um, but I'm gonna keep it in a, in a pot as long as I can. Um, flower, or their fruiting season, I guess, is around June through September. Uh, hopefully we can get this guy to fruit sometime this year because it seems like it's a three year mark um, and yeah so uh, fruitings around June through September um, sometimes in uh, more tropical places I guess you can have these guys fruiting all year round so that's pretty cool um, unfortunately I don't think that will happen here or really anywhere in the US um, unless it may be Hawaii. Uh, unfortunately, the fruit brews pretty easily. 
um, they are uh, pretty perishable so uh, you're gonna have to use them pretty quickly when you uh, pick them unfortunately but uh, you know they are pretty good nice and crisp if you like that apple texture and then a nice rose light rose flavor um, but yeah uh, from what I've heard uh, these guys can take quite a bit of water during the summer months but uh, during the winter months you're gonna want to kind of uh, take it back and let them dry out a bit and uh, that's how you're gonna let them uh, get through winter so uh, I, I try to keep the water on a minimum maybe maybe once a week I mean usually it looks it still looks fine uh, it doesn't really get too hot right now so uh, you know once a week during the winter maybe and then you can you can substantially uh, up it during the summer months so these guys are pretty versatile um, pretty pretty hardy and uh, and uh, definitely something for your collection if you want to get on that rose apple train um, but yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it I think um, these guys are pretty easy to grow uh, don't take too much care honestly and uh, they just look fantastic so if you want this in your collection and you're down in uh, the Central Valley zone 9b um, I would definitely pick one up if you if you can so uh check out mimosa la nursery they probably have them in stock um but yeah i uh, hope you guys like this little care video and uh hopefully i see you in the next one so uh with that being said peace